In this video series, I'm going to show you how to take any kind of quiz questions or any kind of study guide you want to build and, and create a app in Thunkable, either an iPhone or Android app, uh, to give that quiz. Okay, and once you learn how to do it, you can make all kinds of them. And with Thunkable, of course, you can add all kinds of bells and whistles to your quiz to make it really, really fun. So anyway, these, this is just the data. I've got questions and answers about inspirational women leaders. Okay, um, later in this in this series, I'm going to show you also how to do multiple choice. So here's like some multiple choice answers for each of the questions. Okay, we're going to start off with the starter app. Um, you may have been following along and with this the larger series where we build a slideshow app. And if you go to bit.ly slash quiz start, um, this is going to be a starter app, which is basically just a slideshow app. Okay, and if and, you know, that's actually a thunkable link and it's going to open up in Thunkable for you with a copy of the slideshow app. Okay. And, you know, if you run this app, it's pretty straightforward. You basically can just kind of click through, um, you know, for women inspirational leaders and it shows their name and their picture. Okay. So you're going to modify, you're going to start with this and modify it to turn it into the quiz. Um, anyway, so a couple things you're, you're going to want to do first. So right now, as you saw, we just, we list the name of each person. Um, you know, as we slide through the through, through the pictures, and we're going to change this label, and instead of calling it name label, we're going to call it question label, because this is where we're going to actually put the uh, the question for our quiz. Okay, um, we'll still have a next button to go in between, and in in this first video, all I'm going to do is show you how to show the questions. Okay, we're just going to get it so we're showing the questions now. Um, so we've got our question label, we've got our image, we've got our next button. I'm going to go to the blocks. In the slideshow app, we had a pick list and a name list, two variables, okay? And variables are just kind of hidden memory that keep track of our data. Um, I'm going to leave these, but I'm going to keep, one, you know, create one more, and this is going to be my question list. Um, and in my question list, I'm going to build a list like this, um, but I'm not going to want these these file names in there. So I'm just gonna take those out. Uh, actually, sorry, I'll, I'll leave the, the red text box, boxes in, but I'm gonna change the text in there. And what I'm gonna do is go back to my quiz data and I'm just gonna grab each question. And there's the first one. And I'm just gonna put that in, in basically into my question list. So there's question one and you can you know, use the up left arrow and right arrow to, to see it's all there. Uh, but, you know, I'll go ahead and grab the other questions. So here's question two for Grace Hopper. Stick that into the red. I'm just using command V to paste. Um, and over here, I'm using command C to, to copy. I'm not doing a very good job of it, but there we go. Command C, there's my third question. And then finally grab the fourth one about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And uh, you can see the answer. So this is not a quiz for you today, but um, you can give this quiz to your friends. And, and like I said, you really learn how to build quizzes so you can build whatever quiz you want. Okay, so we're almost there. So of course this question list is just hidden memory. So we need to make sure the questions actually show up. Uh, we've got our question label. We were showing items from the name list um, but when the screen list opens, we actually want to show the first item from now the question list. Okay, and kind of same thing down here, question label, we want to use the question list. So anyway, this is just the first, the start of the quiz, and, and let's go ahead and just test what we did. And now when I go into designer, click preview, um, it shows the picture and, and shows the first question. Um, and we can work on these margins and whatnot later, but if I click next, um, it's basically asking all the questions for me. Okay, now you know, the next thing I need to do is make it so the, the user can answer and we can check their answer and, and do all the multiple choice stuff.